I not then to be set free? Set free? Ch child, after such wickedness as yours, what are you dreaming of? Give me that writing. Light your fires! Do you think I dread it as much as the life of a rat in a hole? <gasps> My voices were right! Joe, don't! Yes! They told me you were fools, and that I was not to listen to your fine words, nor to trust to your charity. You promised me my life, but you lied. You think life is nothing but not being stone dead. It is not the bread and water I fear. I can live on bread. When have I asked for more? It is no hardship to drink the water if the water be clean. Bread has no sorrow for me, and water no affliction. But to shut me from the light of the sky, and the sight of the fields and flowers, to chain my feet so that I can never again ride with the soldiers nor climb the hills, to make me breathe foul, damp darkness, and to keep from me everything that brings me back to the love of God, when your wickedness and foolishness tempt me to hate him. All this is worse than the furnace in the Bible that was heated seven times. I could do without my war horse. I could drag about in a skirt. I could let the banners and the trumpets and the knights and soldiers pass me and leave me behind as they leave the other women. If only I could still hear the wind in the trees. The larks in the sunshine. The young lambs crying through the healthy frost and the blessed, blessed church bells that send my angel voices floating to me on the wind. But without these things I cannot live and by your wanting to take them away from me or from any human creature, I know that your counsel is of the devil and that mine is of God. She's a relapsed heretic, obstinate, incorrigible, and altogether unworthy of the mercy we have shown her. I'll call for her excommunication. You wicked girl. If your counsel were of God, would he not deliver you? His ways are not your ways. He wills that I go through the fire to his bosom, for I am his child, and you are not fit that I should live among you. That is my last word to you. Light your fire, man, to the stake with her! Not yet! Sorry.